so right here actual middle of render and a couple of things I noticed when you start rendering you pay more details and tensions the trees maybe is too tight so actually I want to reduce maybe amount of trees right here and this two heels doesn't look very good so I need to add something right there on the back um, I'm going to stop this render okay so I'll stop this render be sure we save our place and I'm going to reduce some of these plants right here and we'll probably add something on a back right there so yeah we can save that one as well okay we'll go take our terrain open and right here where we have a tall pine I'm actually going to reduce this one and presence bring this a bit down so we'll click preview okay, this will make a little bit nicer look and bring them okay, let's even kind of bring on the bottom a little bit closer right here so it will mix them nicer so we have some trees that will look more interesting as well right here on the back I want to have it maybe another hill like this one so I'm going to edit my object okay and we look from this point of view our camera so I want to place it right in this area I can actually just take and maybe increase size of this but instead actually I want to preserve on create another and that this is one being just normal terrain okay, will be any other fancy one in scale something maybe right here place it okay also let's go edit this object okay, reset and make so kind of look something like that can bring a little bit higher and you can see this will create a little bit more interesting effect not just like symmetrical I kind of like to go from angle compositions going so if we see our lines going so in this case we have this straight line on horizon which doesn't look good at all okay so let's do this way we'll go change material we'll just add um, default to this and I want populate it of course we'll go to add ecosystem let's first just add um, pine trees there you go okay it is dynamic population so we'll click and you know what let's cut from the bottom because we won't see it okay and make it a little bit more interesting we can also work on a slope so it's kind of will be creating on those slopes right there you can see it's great nice um, effect with single trees okay actually at this point I want to preview it slightly changes but I think that will have a nicer flow to our image So yeah, the way on the back right there, and let's give it this step dimensions almost look. Okay, um, right this area maybe need to add a little bit more plants down below right here. So you can see it's look nice this you know maybe okay 
right this area but right here I will add post production just maybe add a little bit um, clouds kind of effect so we'll stamp it okay let's go bring slightly down preview right here you can see where we generating yep that look better And the same on atmosphere till we here. Increase a little bit. Decrease here, so we'll have it. We decreasing aerial perspective, so we have it a little bit sharper look on top. But same time, I don't want to lose this dimension on the bottom. It's why I'm increasing fog density, but decrease a little bit aerial, so we'll clear up top a little bit, so we can see a little bit more details right in these areas and just pitch darker on dimension so we'll have it let's, okay let's go ahead be sure to save our work okay let's move this slightly closer like here so we have it in two dimensions okay yeah that will look Preview one more time. So I'm be sure right here we have it a nice effect and a little bit this corner need to be touched and I think that will work well kind of balance we have a light point our attention will go to this area and I want kind of fill up so we don't distract um, clouds maybe just let's pop up clouds a bit up okay these are clouds we'll just just bring them pinch out also sometimes you notice with camera lighting maybe work not as you want it you always can go inside your camera and right here after exposure you can uncheck by unchecking after exposure you will um, your camera won't adjust light so it will look a little bit darker or brighter depend but it's actually in some cases work better so let's see with the preview with after exposure to save it and you can see how much darker it's become so in this case we can increase a bit more glowing from the object so increase lighting here but the same dissipation will be a little bit faster with this case so let's do this way okay and you can see how sometimes you start working on one and you're like oh I need to add a couple more things and you're just tweaking and some projects may take quite a bit long time till you finish creating them. Okay, a little bit less yellowish. Reduce kind of yellowish um, color, so decay. maybe even reduce a little bit more add some little bit colder feel to this Low, but I don't want to lose some details, so it's kind of sort of balancing between all this. Pop up sky, it's will lighting up this area. You can see we add a little bit more colors, and because it's darker, I want to 
increase um, aligning a little bit in the shadows so we'll reduce this highlights so we'll bring a little bit more details okay let's click preview okay now because trees we have a little bit disbalance right here and I'm going to just fix this one and we'll we'll be ready to render so just make it smaller it's not so obvious just small little building right here okay that does look good we have it this one is hiding now so we want to bring up slightly give that look okay and let's go back here density this is about just maybe reduce density and point two so it will be going a little bit down okay, let's click preview yeah it will go a little bit nicer cover okay as well 36 on this one just barely I want to change where I keep up a little bit more okay with scaling is fine um, we can always increase a little bit more presence on the scott pine which is lower pine a little bit shorter than tall pine and this will give it us more uneven it's actually what I'm going after okay let's go ahead save it Okay, and now we'll go back to um, render. So list final again. Set all that stuff. Atmosphere settings same as before. And we'll go to stuff render now. Okay, so right here we finish render, and it's take about an hour to render in this resolution. However, a couple things I noticed right here. We have the grain. Even with pop-up quality, it's still grain come up. But this is was very basic. If you need increase, it will be better. We see how we can fix this actually in Photoshop a little bit. And so at this point, let's just overall look and we can see how it's well interesting effect. Right here we have it with a fog over river. So if you want it, you can stop at this point or you can continue watching this tutorial when I'm going inside the Photoshop and just a little bit enhance um, this image in there okay so right here we inside the photoshop the first thing so what i want to do is look right here you can see this grain okay, let's fix this one we'll create a new layer and i creating by pressing ctrl j or you can just select one and drag and drop and create a new layer so in this layer we'll go to filter noise and we'll go to the um dust and scratches and we'll maybe going to four pixels maybe three like this four pixels will be doing good so you can see it's kind of smooth but again if we look it's overall have this effect kind of painting so what I was looking it's right here with the grain we'll go and create a new layer a mask actually and press ctrl i to inverse so right now we kind of disable this mask so next what i'm going to do is take a brush okay be sure our brush is soft okay we also want to set opacity to maybe about 10. Okay, well, let's increase a little bit size and we'll want to be sure it's a white color and i'm just start right here slightly painting okay if you have it by compared it's much easy if you don't you can just use that you can see when I start painting over this so we kind of add mask and you can see slightly removing grain you can pop up to the 20 if you want to go a little bit faster but it's a little bit you need to be more careful so and again right here you can see I even kind of going clicking going over this area where is the grain 
I'm going very careful so I don't want to use some details that we have it but at the same time right here where for example grain very visible you can go around and kind of apply it so I'm going to pause for a second go over and just this area remove that grain okay so right here I'm going with brush and you can see this is our mask right here our mask and it's a before and after if you think it's too strong you always can use it the feel and just readjust because one thing we can lose some details and maybe don't want to do this okay right here is our image again it's before and after we do lose some details but we smooth out some of that grain next thing is what I want to do it's add a little bit more dimension to this and I'm doing control shift alt e on PC so I'm creating merging all layers and create one new one Next, I'm actually going to adjustments, black and white, and right here I'm will apply. See with the green light, the black and white. I'm adding look on more of the shades right here. So I don't want them too flat. So I want to bring some dimension to this. Be yellow a little bit too much. Yeah, right here, so we don't lose some details. Just overall, so we can. The idea of this, I don't want overexpose like whites, but I want to have it all as details preserved. So it's when you see you have most details, that is probably what you trying to achieve. We'll click OK here. We'll go to image adjustment and go to shadow and highlight and you can see we can start bringing a little bit more this way and let's flatten right here you can see how some details start coming up a little bit better click ok this is will be our applying on the soft light so we'll go soft light you can see how we add a little bit more dimension with soft light here. Mostly right in this area, I look on those trees, they just start to kind of come up a little bit dimensional. Again, you can use that um, opacity feel to how strong you want to apply it. Okay, the next what I want to do is add um, some more mist in areas. Again, Control Shift Alt E to create new one. We'll go to Filter, Blur. And we'll use the in blur for this. Okay, there is a little bit too much, so I'm going to reduce, make softer around this area. Click OK, and we'll switch this to actually screen. You can see how it's glowing effect. Now I don't want to apply that glowing effect to everything. So again, I'm creating mask now. Okay, we'll control I to inverse this mask. We'll have it our brush, which is same with from before. Let's set this to the 20% opacity. It's inside. And right here, just in some areas, I can add a little bit more glowing around here. Maybe around these plants again. We can preview, you can see, click, open. So it's add this kind of fog type glowing little bit. So before and after. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe a little bit. Again, we can going down, and if we need it, just get a little bit up. Okay, so right here we apply this effect. Next, um, I want to add some sharpness, but I want to add internal sharpness and out edges. So again, 
I'm going to right here create merge and create two layers. It's control shell shift alt e. Next, we'll let's group them together. And we'll say this group to overlay. Inside the group, we'll take a first layer and switch this to vivid light. Next, let's press control I to invert this first layer. We see no difference at this point. But what we're going to do, we go to the actual blur, surface blur. You can see how we increase the problem with this, but it's working in view and you have grain, the grain is pop up like crazy. So these ones, we need to be very careful how we use it, if you want to use it at all. Again, on this resolution, it's grain pop up, so I may just use a little bit, bring some details that we may have lost with those smoothness. However, if we do next, create new layer, we'll do overlay, and we'll go to filter, other high pass. This one will give it us, you can see, edge sharpness. So let's click OK. And we can preview right here, you can see it will add a little bit sharpness on the edge, make it more look like illustrations. Again, I will just bring this maybe to 40. So right here we have our image so far with the modification. Let's go next and um, add some layers maybe of the with a brush some effect. But uh, before that, I want to add a little bit of a color correction, and I'm going to do this with the curves. So in the curves, we'll go use blue curve. We'll take on the shadows, and you notice right here where shadows will increase. I will add a little bit cold feeling to the shadows and on the highlights bring down. Let's go to the green one. In the green we can go a little bit raised just slightly because it's a little nice combination with the blue and the other ones and we can just pop up a little bit up on the green light. And let's go to red. If we go to this way we add cyan color or red so and I think this cyan kind of will be very complementary. Gets warmer, we'll go just slightly cyan color. Uh, let's see if we want to just maybe bring a little bit here. Okay, let's go back to green. Just kind of readjusting our curves. Again, this what do you like it? You can set up to your colors. I'll go bring one point on middle and bring a little bit down so mid tones will have it set. Okay right here again just slightly color correction. I think the blue add a little bit more depth to this. Uh, let's go to the color balance. We'll start with shadows again and now we add a little bit more depth with our color correction. So we'll just colder, a little bit warmer. So it's up to what you're going. Maybe I'll just bring it just slightly. Kind of darker, saturated, mid-tones. This is what our mostly green will be and mid-tones are probably just make them more warmer. Okay, let's go back in shadows. Here we'll bring highlights. Again, highlights. We have a little bit red, maybe. Let's see what we bring in. Okay, again, before and after, you can see a little bit more add depth with our colors. Okay, normally, next um, step, I sometimes what I do, I like to process in. Uh, Filter Forge. So for that, I'm going to create new image. We'll go filter, and we'll go to open Filter Forge. Okay, so inside right here, I have some of my presets, and they're free. You can go download it. All actually it does is go over and just small corrections save a little bit time for me when I do this way. And I'm just look on some presets. I like this one. So I'll go click apply. We don't necessarily need to. Um, that preset all the way. You can see it's very sharpened, kind of darkened, but
but it does help us with the fill. We can bring the tones a little bit more into. Okay, let's go right here. Okay, next I notice lights go this point. So let's now work on some other lighting. And um, for this, we'll go create new layer. We have the white brush all set. Let's set opacity to 100%. Okay, we'll reduce set brush. And from this point, you can see I click, drag, hold down shift, and click again. So we'll just do something. And I'm looking how the lights may go to the point right here. Okay. You can increase slightly brush, maybe make right here going closer. Okay. Next, let's go to filter, blur. And we can blur for this. It will pop up way more. Okay, and switch this to the soft light. You just you can see add a little bit more kind of going from sun. Again, it just call it enhancement. Next, when we're in a brush, we can go and start using different type preset of brush. I heard uh, brushes and I recommend some of them. You can check website. There's some of them free, but some you can purchase and um, I think they does sell nice and right here just going to add on the end just yeah, small effect again we can go look on switch to soft lights or hard light I think the normal will work fine we'll just don't apply that hard here, let's go create new layer and let me look on the clouds. Okay, now this is, doesn't work. So sometimes you kind of go over clouds and see which one maybe work better for you. So I think. Let's look on this one, I think that one. Yeah, with lighting going from this edge. So I can go create one like this. I'll flip horizontally. So you can see you can add a little bit more if they will apply it well at all. You know what, I kind of don't, don't like how that looks, so we'll just create a new one. Okay, let me go ahead, select, and just work with a fog at all. Say add a little bit to the edge. It's almost like creating natural framing for this. Okay, maybe around there. Let's go speak about framing. Let's go to the curves and we can create a total dark curve. Let's create and fill up with the white. We'll go to the mask and add feathering. So here's things we can create um, kind of darker, or we can go all the way up and create a little bit more white. It's what you're looking for. I think that this dark will look kind of more interesting. And right here, frame. 
And when we bring darker frame, we maybe want to bring some of this lipid. Okay, um, again, one more layer. And last touch, what you can add if you want to create a total illustration for this, we can go to Filters, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And right here, we can actually take quite a bit down. Okay, you can preview. And just slightly sharpen up. Just add, add extra effect to this. Okay, so right here is our image that we're creating with a view and uh, just adjusting Photoshop. And thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember, visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.